Hello and welcome to a new episode of uh, Let's Play here in Osiris with me, Vilagavia. I don't know if you caught that, but there was just an iron golem that fell into the trap. Woohoo! So, so the, the iron farm is working, but it looks kind of rubbish. I mean, the houses look rubbish. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to decorate the uh, villagers' houses and make them pretty. There is a gathering of creepers here as well. As you can see there's a railway here and that's because I've been transporting some villagers over to this place and uh, yeah it's working and I'm gonna go down and show you. It's already obviously all temporary at the moment because it looks yeah it doesn't look good but uh, we can go down here hopefully that guy won't follow us. Is that a spider? And we have some drops, so this is all good, but uh, yeah, yeah, and it's uh, decorating. We're gonna do this later though, because I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do here. This creeper might come and surprise me now. Ah, it's all right. Um, so we're gonna focus on the exterior today, on the villagers' houses. What we see, what we see. Let's see if we can get in here. So I'm going to explain what we're doing here. So th there are various doors here in various places. And uh, hello. And they are, there's 10 doors on each side, <coughs> basically, but they're not placed in the same way. Uh, but that doesn't matter. As long as there's 10 doors uh, on each side, the center of the village should be in the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with I think with this house a little tiny house or possibly this one and uh, I will explain the theme so I'm gonna just basically build this uh, well rebuild it and then I'm gonna get back to you guys so see you in a bit okay so the first house is done I'm gonna show it to you now although I'm gonna get out of this F5 mode uh, and it's obviously a very little hut so it can't do too much but it's interesting what you can do with just, I mean, this is uh, something like 3x1 or 2x1, even if you discount the door on the inside. It's kind of interesting what you can do. Um, so we have a little, little uh, roof over this window with uh, some nice fence posts on the outside. And then we have a um, window on the outside here. The, uh, we are using spruce and stone bricks and an oak door and then some slabs down here for support and uh, I, th I think it looks really good actually cons considering what it is we have a bit of texture growing on back here as well so that's good um, and so this is the theme we're gonna go for it's kind of a classic isn't it uh, spruce wood and stone bricks oh man they're loud with their doors um, yeah but I thought I'd explain a bit about what is going on here so this is obviously where somebody lives, and this house is going to be the same, and this, and this. So basically this whole row is going to be living quarters. Uh, this big building here is going to be a storehouse for them. And here we're going to have the inn. So this might be, uh, part of it anyway might be two stories, uh, but without doors on the upper story. This again is a bit of a living quarter. This here is going to be their church. And finally, we have another living quarter here. Uh, these small ones, they're all gonna look exactly like this one, I think, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next. And then I'm gonna go for these here and the uh, the storehouse. Um, so I might actually do all of that lot before I um, give you a progress update. By the way, these guys here seem to be stuck. These four guys here, they don't move, no matter if it's night or day or whatever. Okay, so we've done uh, these two houses as well, pretty much anyway. I'm missing some mossy cobblestone that I need to get. I'm going to explain that in a minute. And so they have a bit more detail on them, obviously. They're a bit bigger. And uh, inside, it's quite bland at the moment. There's a stone uh, brick on the floor. And that's because we're going to put a furnace and a chimney here made of mossy cobblestone and some bits like that. And the same thing here, although it's placed in the corner and so this one has one window and these ones have two 
And I have made a, a brief test and it uh, appears that zombies can't kill villagers through fences like this. That's that's my test anyway. So hopefully that's true. Uh, so how do I build these things? Well I'm very 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 careful with light levels because we can't have anything spawn in here because that's going to be a zombie and then they're all going to die. So that's the first and foremost thing. Another thing is in the same vein nothing can be uh, a corner on the outside here. So this here is fine because there's a whole block there, a whole block there and a whole block here. So that's fine, but we can't have it like this. Uh, let me show you. Uh, we can't have a diagonal like that because then the zombies can kill through the diagonal gap. So safety first is what I'm saying, right? And um, the second thing is I want it to look nice from the outside and from the inside. So I'm doing my best here to make it look a bit different on the outside here and you see I have uh, fence posts and all that lot and that's because mainly you're going to see this from the outside. You're going to see it when you come over here like this and go down the very shiny stairs down to get some more iron and uh, you're going to see it up from the spawn uh, building when you look out the windows and so it's important that it looks nice from the outside and the inside. Other than that I'm just you know, I'm, uh, it's interesting because I'm trying to do the most I can with these very small buildings. And I think I'm getting somewhere. I mean, I, I can go back later on and replace some of the blocks here with mossy uh, stone bricks or with cracked stone bricks and stuff like that. But that's, uh, that comes later. And uh, also, as you can see, uh, the buildings can't go out like this a lot because uh, let's say that this had slabs on the outside here, then it would give shade to this door here and uh, and the uh, it might confuse things so I'm trying to keep each building within its perimeters which is why I'm not quite sure about this because these two buildings now are meeting up yeah I'll have to think about that I might just remove that although it does look really bland without anything here I'll think of something so it'll be alright so this whole side is now done really I mean I need to do something with the floor on the outside but other than that I think we're done with this side and we're done with the small houses so what we're gonna do next is this thing here which is the storehouse and actually I have some quite cool ideas for this so I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice building I mean the bigger the building the, the more chance you have of adding details and stuff like that so let's place a block here and jump up um, so this house is going to I think it's gonna be one higher like that because uh, we need to fit in some chests and stuff like that where these guys keep their stuff and uh, it's gonna have some decoration on the ceiling sorry on the roof and some bits like that so I'm hoping it's gonna turn out nice um, and yeah I think that's probably the last one we're gonna be have time for today maybe we'll have time for the church as well that would be nice because I think I have a couple of ideas for that one as well. But yeah, we shall get another progress update in a minute. This is what happens when you have to go and create materials as you build. Look, it's like he's one of the villagers, the creeper over there, yeah? Crikey me. <laughs> and now another one just blew up here and it destroyed my hill. Bastard. Sorry. Bum. Alright. I've gotten some arrows. Gonna sort him out. You bet he's despawned now. I hope he hasn't despawned. I wanna shoot him. Yeah, he's despawned. He's despawned. Oh well. Okay. All right, guys, we have a storage. Well, we have a storehouse. I really like it. It's cool. So it has these little uh, ventilation shafts, you might say, on the top. And uh, here as well. There's a bit more to do inside. We need to decorate it with more chests and we need to have some shelves and stuff like that. But I think it's really cool how you see. So you sort of. There's a hint of sky when you walk past here. And so it's uh, 
it's coming along nicely. I brought in to raise the uh, level of of the house by one. I brought in some logs here, spruce logs, and I think they look really cool, especially because you only see half of them. Uh, and then on the sides here, uh, this building is big enough for us to make a proper uh, ending to the roof. So it's all it's all looking cool actually. Um, there are some more details to add to this building, but. Uh, Overall, uh, it's done. So next up, I'm gonna do the church, and then the inn. Finally, <coughs> so uh, we'll see how that goes. Hello, hello. Look at me. Yeah, since uh, yeah, well the church is done, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but since the last clip, two days has passed, and I've been off ill, and all sorts of stuff, and this fellow here is being a naughty boy. Well, not him exactly, but his colleagues, they tend to spawn in the fence in certain places. That has something to do, to do with door placement, no doubt. But I took, in desperation, I took out the entire water flow here, and yeah, I've been fiddling. <laughs> I'll sort that out later on. But the church is done. I think it looks alright. Uh, it has, uh, let's see if we can see it. It has a tower, with some torches in it. <laughs> I might replace that with something else at some point, but it looks alright for now. And then uh, it has these decorations, ornaments, things on the on the edge of the roof, along with some church benches. And uh, well, this block represents a an enchanting table that I'm going to put here later on, so they can have their little ceremonies going on here. Yeah, so. Uh, this project uh, is pretty much complete. Uh, it's not going to take me long to do this uh, bit. Uh, what is going to take me a while is to figure out... Oh, that's a torch in my face. Why this guy doesn't want to spawn where I want to s him to spawn. The only reasonable explanation is that the center of the village is not in fact the hole, but slightly further to the side here, and so that enables these blocks here to be spawnable spaces as well. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, but for now, we shall call it a day and say that... Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Mira Gavia and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye!